Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy. I'm a professional astrologer and you can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com and there I want you to go and read this forecast in more detail and you can contact me through the website there as well because I do have an eclipse special. So come find me. So today I want to talk about the full moon lunar eclipse on October 8th. Now I'm also going to go through all the signs with this one so I will be doing 12 separate videos. Come and find the one that's right for you. The beginning part will be the same in every single one of them because I want to give you the heads up on what this eclipse is about. Let's get started. So the new moon, <coughs> full moon lunar eclipse October 8th, it's in the sign of Aries at the 14th degree. Now right off the bat, that's a, been a sensitive number through the whole year and especially since the April eclipses and the April cardinal cross. Cardinal cross is those four cardinal signs, Aries Libra opposition and that Cancer Capricorn. This eclipse is a full moon the sun is in Libra and the moon is in Aries and it's at that same degree right around that four it's a 14th degree the cardinal cross was at 13 14 as well that means back at smack dab in the middle of April in between the two eclipses we had back then we had the set off of the cardinal cross cardinal meaning initiating action where are these four points in your own astrology chart now you do need to know the time of day that you were born to really set this up in perfection so for perfection but in the general sense we'll go into the details what it means for each zodiac sign in the meantime back to what the Aries energy of this full moon lunar eclipse is all about and again it is all about personal choices within the dynamic of relationships. Full moons are always about relationships. That's why we're here on this planet, is to understand ourselves, learn who we are through the catalyst of others, so we are able to see ourselves as a reflection or a projection, right, of those people around us. So keep that in mind. So what I want you to think about and look at in your own personal life, whether you even care where this goes on in your 12 houses or not, is irrelevant. The main energy is all about what do you want to do within your relationships. Are you in the right relationship? You need to ask yourself these questions. Is this relationship uh, too overwhelming? Is there not enough interaction? What is going on in your relationships and partnerships? Now they typically are the intimate relationships because it's Libra energy where the Sun is at. So that usually is our typical and our intimate relationships but if you're not in a relationship then you might be working on why you're not in one are you not willing to open up are you not willing to be a partner all of these questions need to come into our heads you don't need me to list everything because you're grown up and you can decide what a relationship means to you this eclipse is all about making that apparent to each and every one of us in our own way and the way that we receive information. Because wherever this is happening in your astrology chart, it is always, that is always the area where you have 14 degrees of Aries, where this eclipse is. So this is not new location or new information. This is information that has been coming up time and time again. So eclipses, the full moon is all about releasing and letting things go. So as we build to this eclipse, it's important that if something is truly giving you a difficult time, you look at it, you face it, and you decide how much is it, is it worth hanging on to, or is it time to truly let it go. So this eclipse will ignite, reignite that cardinal cross, like I said in the beginning. And so when it reignites that cardinal cross from April, I want you to take a look back and see what was going on for you in April, what changed for you in April, what were you initiating for new things, have they worked out? It's been a few months since April, so is it working out or is it not working out? So I'm going to leave you with that and then what I'm going to do now next is do 12 separate videos, so this is going to be at the beginning of every single video and I'm going to tell you what it means for each zodiac sign. Alright, thank you and um, please hang on. Namaste. Okay, Virgo. Virgo. Now, if you are a Virgo or you have Virgo on the ascendant, it's a rising sign in Virgo, then this eclipse 
in Aries happens in your solar eighth house and so what I want you to do is take all that information I just told you about Aries and that full moon eclipse in Aries and now we're going to apply it to a little more information so since it happens in that solar eighth house the energy of this is all about the cycle of life the cycle of death and rebirth and rebirth and death all right and that is all about transformation so what in your life is going through a major transformation right now it is something that is very very important to you since this moon in Aries the moon in Aries is a very emotional moon because it can be very self-centered now not in a bad way but interested in the self I already mentioned that but in the eighth house it is also an emotional sector of the astrology chart and so where what emotional is coming up for you there's something really that's hanging out down in the deep down in the depths of your soul that might need to come up it's almost like the 12th house energy but not quite so when it's doing that, I want you to just really focus on what's coming up so you can release it. That's what these full moons are all about. You start writing this stuff down and burn it. Now, that's just a simple, simple process. Works well for a lot of people, but it might take a little more since this eighth house is Scorpio's natural home. And that means there is some deep things that have to come up. So you might need to do some work with the shaman or some kind of energy healer. So keep that in mind. This is what life is about. Let's process stuff through. Let's get it up and out. So then we have open hands and empty hands for something new that is good for us. All right. This opposition, the sun down in the second house, that means you are focusing in on what you value and what is important for you. It's a fixed area of the astrology chart, and that can mean that we're having a hard time letting go of something. These two areas, the second house and the eighth house, are both fixed, so it's hard to let go. I want you to focus on that. So what do you value? Libra's down there in your partnerships. And what about you is going through a complete and total transformation? These are the questions you'll ask yourself with this lunar eclipse in your eighth solar house all right that is for you Virgos so if you want to know more you want to know where this is really really specifically in your chart because again this type of forecast is still a general forecast I want you to give me come to my website nhastrologer.com I have an eclipse special there or you can just contact me through there with questions thank you for watching and um, namaste